the man who ordered the attack on America. 9-11, the trauma of New York. For 10 years, the USA hunts down its public enemy number one and finds him where no one suspects him. He is killed in Abbottabad, Pakistan, on May 2, 2011. Private papers fall into the Americans' hands during the operation. Some of them are published later online. They offer a glimpse into Osama bin Laden's life in his hideout. How he felt and what he thought. How he loved and hated. Osama bin Laden, up close and personal. Abbottabad, Pakistan, a city of 500,000 at the foot of the Himalayas. Abbottabad benefits from a mountain climate and cool summers. June marks the beginning of the season. Affluent Pakistanis from the hot southern regions enjoy the summertime freshness here. And Abbottabad is safe. After all, the Pakistani Army's military academy is based here. Good private and boarding schools equally thrive in this kind of environment. By Pakistani standards, a pleasantly calm atmosphere pervades the city. The district of Bilal town is not the most upscale neighborhood. Despite that, larger solitary compounds dot the area in an otherwise rural environment. None of the residents suspect that one of these compounds houses a man who is wanted all around the world, Osama bin Laden. He once spread fear and terror into the Western world. In his house in Abbottabad, a TV links him to the outside world. Occasionally in newscasts, he sees himself, the man who many regard as the world's most dangerous terrorist. For the Americans looking for him, he has vanished into thin air. In his hideout, he views the videotapes displaying, in his opinion, his greatest triumph again and again. September 11, 2001, the attacks on the World Trade Center in New York, which killed almost 3,000 people. Roughly 10 years later, bin Laden wants to publicly savor his terrible triumph one more time. In his compound, he writes to a confidant. We are awaiting the 10th anniversary of the blessed attack on New York and Washington. You are well aware of the importance of taking advantage of the anniversary in the media. We have a lot to show. If Al Jazeera shows responsiveness, we should tell them that we are willing to cooperate. Tell them that we suggest that they make a documentary on this anniversary and we will provide them with printed, audio and video material. We should also look for an American channel that can be close to being unbiased. Original quotes from bin Laden himself, according to the U.S. government. It is